We want to use the opportunity to call every personnel, Biafra personnel or Biafra person serving in Nigeria Army, Nigeria Police, Nigeria Navy, Nigeria Air Force. If you are serving in all these institutions mentioned now and you are very close to Biafra land or you are in Biafra land, resign. Resign. They bring you to Biafra, resign. Because once you have that uniform on, we don't know who you are. You are the enemy and you are our enemy. Is a last warning and last call for you to resign. If you are deployed to Biafra territory to kill, pull off your cloth and resign and look for contact where you can contact me or some of your group if you want to serve the Biafra army or the Biafra forces. You are welcome. You will be treated and respected. Biafra will value you and once you fight for Biafra, it is something that you should be proud of. So every one of you that are serving Within the Afro territory, today is your last day. Both police, today is your last day. Army, today is your last day. Navy, today is your last day. Except you are not in the Afro land. If you are not in the Afro land, it is your problem. You can die in the north, that is your business. Pull off your clothes and stop killing the Afro. We'll catch you in that uniform. It does not matter who you are, you are gone. To me, the warning is not, uh, to me, from my own opinion, it's not much too important. The reason I say it's not too much important. Somebody cannot see where fire is burning. You go and put your hand. Even the blind person cannot put because we perceive the heart of the fire. Are you getting me? What is going on in this Nigerians? It's not only Biafra land. What is going on in Nigeria? It's only a foolish person who would like to join Nigerian military. Talk less of when. You are fighting your own dependents and you want to still be a Nigerian military to fight your people. It shows that the person is a, is a, is a more than, Judah is more better than the person. Are you getting me? To America to give that warning, let me say to America to find another that is much important than to tell the Biafrans not to join Nigerian military. Because the Biafrans and the Igbo youth know what is happening in uh, Nigeria land. When Igbos need to be a military, the Ni Nigeria government deny Igbos. When Obasanjo is a president, when uh, many of them is a president, they deny Igbo to be a, a, to be a military. Because I know how many people that are my friends, they apply for military, they deny all of them. I get him. When you go to Nigeria, uh, um, like uh, they are military school and uh, air force school you see that the people that are taking mostly and people that take much important places they same our son and yorubas so you both man are you both youth are you both parent to support your children or your family to be a nigerian minute in these nine minutes i see that those people they didn't know what they are doing less america to me Focus most important thing than to tell you will not to join Nigeria military. And you already announced to any Nigerian military, Biafra military, the under Nigeria to do it, it will resign more than five years ago. None can say this. Samanepa continue and continue to say it every day. You know, anybody that died for Nigeria struggle is just waste. Biafra people cannot value you. Nigeria people cannot value you. The best thing to you to resign and join Nigeria Biafra forces. And the one that they are not a military and they want to join a military, have the opportunity and join for Biafra military. At least you see that we are fighting for your own nation. It's not the nation that didn't have value or the citizen. It's not a nation that didn't value their security. Okay, look at in Lagos State here. So all is begging their West to join military. Their citizens refuse. They are youth. Talk less of you, you are fighting to gain your own independence. No, let's America talk much important thing to me. Let's fight for the main issue. Let's if any evil man or evil children, anyone want to join me, join a minute you die. You use your blood and wash the ground. Use your blood and wash ground because 
you use your hand and kill yourself. You know the Afra that killed the person. That's what I can say that for... Don't you think that that will demoralize uh, some military personnel and security personnel of Igbo extraction in Nigeria and eventually might make them a target of uh, hostility? Listen, whether they are joining the military or they are not joining military, Nigerian military must come and meet Igbos. Because that line, they already draw the line. We can't clean it. See, we achieve what we are looking for. If you like, let all the old Igbo youth join Nigeria military. What North and West will do what they will see in force Nigeria military to go Igbo land to destroy the Igbo land because what they are targeting that to make the Igbo land be Islamic land. They are not fighting for Igbo interest. They are fighting for their own selfish interest, Islamic nation. You know, when they conquer Igbo land, you already conquered the whole Africa. That, that is the agenda. I give, that I said, they already draw the map. We must fight the war. And you know, the war that you contribute, you just volunteer yourself. We have the zeal to fight the war than when they force you. See why ESN, they are winning the war, they fight, they are volunteering their self to fight, to defend their people and defend their land. Don't you think that this war, uh, of course, will be endless since it has involved the use of uh, guns and bullets on both sides? Listen, anything called war is disaster. The two sides must lose. Like what is Israel is doing now? Israel in the war. Many things happening. Their resources going. Their property is going. And some of them is dying. If you want to uh, Gaza or whatever, you see that then 95 percent of their pro uh, property is what gone. That is war. And without war, no peace. In the heaven, the Chukwokuka Biyama fight war. He used his son to conquer the enemies. Talkless of the people he created. They will fight the war and conquer. God give Israel the strength to fight for the enemies, to grab what belongs to them. Are you saying that Simon Eba has the capacity? In the absence of Mazen and they can to lead their friends to the supposed promised land. Listen, as well as Odumego Juku tried to own Nigeria ransom three years. Three years for that year, a one person. Talk less of now. We have a great purpose in a Biafra land. Gallant people in a Biafra land. Different nation. My brother, let me say that uh, we say Samanekwa will if you say the smallest person in the ESM will conquer Nigeria. The smallest group will conquer Nigeria. Talk less when Samanekwa and the Mazenan can is the war front. My brother, the no bomb on well. Samanekwa will conquer Nigeria because the guy is a really a brilliant man and he believes for God. It's not for himself. He believes God. Whatever you are doing in this life, you take God first. We will make the we will win the fight. But when you come outside and say you no, that is the reason why I said the struggle of Biafra is a different thing. Because what we are talking, what, what, the, what is leading us is what God. We take God first. This is what is happening in Israel too. You watch Natalyahu. Before you do anything, you use quotation of Bible and do whatever you want to do. He believe in God more than what woman being created. 
when David want to kill Goliath, what happened? It's just an ordinary stone. Five stone of five stone. And Goliath is a great man. He's a giant man. He had different ammunition. But what happened? Immediately David called the name of God. Just a little stone. A little stone. He used it and do it in and kick Goliath. Do you mean do you think that is David that did the thing? The answer is no. It's God. But before God do something, you must use somebody and do it. Now, if you see the journey of Biafra, God cannot come on this earth and make Biafra to exist. He must use somebody. He started with Martin and the Kano. Nigeria and Britain and some world didn't believe that Martin and the Kano will go to the extent that the whole nation will come say, release this young man, he's innocent. Nobody believed that. Now, when they were Martin and the Kano, they thought that the Biafra agitation would do it, will stop. From nowhere, from nowhere, Samanepa did what? Rise up. And still continue where Mazen and the Kano, where Nigeria kidnapped Mazen and the Kano, continue there. With all the whole threats Nigeria brings, and the DOS, and the some Biafrans bring against Samanepa. I think. Some of the stand firm because he want to the name of Chukwuka Biama take over the whole Africa. That's why I say that Samanepa Amazon and the Khan, as the leader of indigenous of Biafra, will do it. Will take us of the promised land. They have the second Joshua that take Israel in the promised land.